Hi everyone, I'm David Hyde Costello. I'm a picture book author and illustrator, and if you've seen any of the other videos that I've done for the Palmer Public Library, you may know that I also love to tell stories with puppets, and I love to make things out of paper. I have a new puppet I'd like to show you today. It's this one right here. It's a mouse puppet. The head and hands are made of paper. The head can look back and forth and up and down, because inside it has this structure. I built a hinge that can rotate back and forth, and it has a wire connected to it that runs through a tube down this rod to the controller. And when I slide this slider up and down, it moves that wire and makes the head go up and down. And when I rotate it, it makes the head go back and forth. Now, something I really like about this puppet is that it can change facial expressions. The mouth is made of a black thread, and it has gray threads connected to it that run down to this controller. So when I move it up and down, the sides of that mouth can go up and down and frown or smile. When I put the mouse's clothes over that structure, I ran those controller threads down through a tube inside two for each side of the mouth, one to pull it up and one to pull it down. And then I fit the head on that post and now it will move with the hinge. And I can control the mouth like that. The hands are built separately because depending on what the puppet does, it might be useful to change the hands. So the forearms are cylindrical tubes, and the rods of the hand slide through them to a control rod in the back. And when I made the shirt, I left an opening at the elbows. So those little posts can come through and connect with the control rods. Now the mouse's hands can move in lots of different ways. And I can control it with the rod at the elbow. For the story I have in mind, we won't see the puppet's legs, but I thought I would put them on anyway, and I gave it shoes and socks as well. Now I have an idea for a short film with this character, and I've planned it out with sketches. First we'll see the mouse coming outside to check the mailbox. And by the mailbox there's a lamppost with a poster on it. So the mouse looks in the mailbox, doesn't find any mail, but then sees the poster. And the poster says, Art Show. So now I'll do a close-up of the poster. Art Show, Seaside Gallery, all art welcome. We'll have a reaction shot. The mouse is happy about that. So the mouse runs inside and finishes a painting. And we'll know when the mouse is done with the painting because we'll see the smile. Now the mouse will put the painting in a frame and wrap it up to bring it to the gallery. And the mouse will sail in a boat to get to the gallery. I thought it would be fun to make a scene where the mouse is sailing. And the gallery has a dock right out front. So the mouse goes in and looks around and sees art all over the walls. And the artists in the show will stand by their paintings. So there's our mouse. And then the mouse will go around and look at the paintings by the, look at the artwork by the other artists and talk with the other artists. And the mouse will shake hands with this artist. I'll have to get a good clear shot of that painting because these two mice are going to trade paintings. So when our mouse waves goodbye and takes the wrapped up painting home, goes back inside and opens it up, we'll see that it's actually the painting that was on the wall next to the sailboat painting. They liked each other's art and they became friends and they traded paintings. And the next day, the mouse will write a letter, just a note 
to say how much I am enjoying the painting. I smile every time I see it, for the painting itself and for the memory of our meeting at the gallery. And now, when the mouse goes out to the mailbox to mail the letter, there's already a letter in it. So the mouse opens that letter and it says, Dear friend, we love the painting. Please come visit and see where it hangs in our home. So now there will be a shot of the other artist at home with our mouse's painting on the wall. And then a close-up of that painting, and then cut to our mouse in the sailboat, traveling across the water to visit. By the way, this will be a silent film with music for the soundtrack, and I was wondering if I should come up with a name for the mouse and think about a backstory and decide if it's a girl mouse or a boy mouse, but none of that really matters for this story, so I decided to leave it up to audience interpretation. And what that means is you can think about those things if you want to. If you want to come up with a name for the mouse, or when you talk about the mouse, you can say it or they or she or he, whatever you want. The gender has no bearing on this story. What's important for this story is that the mouse is artistic and a bit adventurous, interested in other people, and interested in other people's art. Although this will be a short film, only a few minutes long, it will take a long time to make. But with videos like this one, I can show you steps along the way. And in the end, we'll see the final film. The first step was to make the puppet and plan out the story with these sketches. Now that I have my story planned out, I can start working on the first scene, and I'll tell you about that in the next video. Bye-bye.